Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ant. So today we are taking a quick look at Espire One. Online shortly. Good, thank you. Thanks, Dicta. Right. So first of all, a massive thank you to Tripwire, the publishers for the game. They reached out to me and offered me a key so I could take a quick look. That's always appreciated. So a massive thank you to Tripwire for that. So this has been a fairly I'm trying to talk in between them talking. A fairly high profile VR release reader. I've seen a fair few adverts for it around and that sort of thing. It's been a really good time for VR outside of the obvious Half Life VR or Half Life Alex VR game announcement, I should say. We've had Stormlands, we've had Asgard's Wrath, we've had Espire. Those are three pretty major launches that we've had in a pretty short space of time. Obviously, two of those are Oculus exclusives, which is good and bad. It's good that Oculus and Facebook are putting so much money into VR. I don't, I'm not a big fan of exclusives, but at least you can play them using Revive. It's just not, if you weren't, if you weren't a long time VR community member or someone who maybe isn't a, I'm going to use the phrase hardcore gamer, though I don't really like it. But you might not think to look, you might not, you might just think if I've got an index, I can't play Oculus stuff. So obviously that walled garden's not great, but those games probably wouldn't exist without Facebook's money. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, isn't it? We'll brief you further as you go. Possessing us by a unit now. Fantastic. So this is a stealth game. That's all I really know about it is that it is stealth based. Agent, use the emergency handle to open them. Oh, so that's sort of weird. So what we see there, the hand doesn't normally with this sort of thing, your hand would snap to and lock to that handle. You can see that isn't the case. They've gone on a slightly different route, not a worse route, but a different route. No melters over here. Movement on IK neural networks looking stable. So I don't know about this grid that comes up as I'm walking around. That's going to have to go. Let's press all the buttons and see if we can bring up a... Oh, that's a crouch. Oh. Oh. That's like a camera on your hand. That's if you hold in the trigger. Same thing with the right hand. That's super interesting, actually. I love this little detail here with the little pistons coming out. That's really nice. Um, what I want is a settings. Yes, thank you. We'll have a look at the display. It's on. We'll leave it on high. We could probably handle epic and, and high, but it's, that's what it's defaulted to, so that's fine. Uh, external display. Can I change? No, it's full screen 16.9, but it's not actually. Ah, that's what I want. Why can I not? Doo -doo -doo. Why is it locked to that weird? Is that maybe if oh the spectator camera? Okay, that's fine then. Uh, that's that's all fine. Then we'll leave that. Our audio, there's not gonna be much in there, is there? No, is there subtitles? We already know there are subtitles. We've seen them. Voice control, speech recognition accuracy is affected by a wide range of factors. Freeze and open console. Is it freeze? Nice. Open console. Oh, okay. So that's something that exists. Gameplay. Controller use for movement left, forward direction using artificial movement. Snap turn incremental size. I'd rather not have snap turn at all. Smooth. There we go. That's what I want there. But nothing to stop the vignetting. Did that actually? It did. Comfort. That's what I wanted. Artificial crouch is fine. Seated mode. No. Espire control theater. What does that mean? But I'm going to say no. I think that's going to be the vignetting. What I'm referring to is the vignetting. How do you resume? Oh, it's immediately better. I, again, I say this every time. I wish they would default to it being not on and just say, as part of the tutorial, would you like to enable this or are you happy to leave it as is? So again, it's a little weird that the holding on something it doesn't you know there isn't like a set animation where it grabs onto it it's just sort of puts a fist and moves something around randomly what is this this little thing speaks the droid you're controlling is a telepresence controlled combat chassis it was developed to make conflict zones and life-threatening operations safer and less cost intensive as you well know the project was cancelled last year Yes, of the course. The AI system that drove the connection between you and the unit was just too unpredictable. Deep neural networks work well until you... <laughs> until... To the human brain. And then, yeah, then they go, oh, don't they go wrong. 
Agent, grab any metal surface or any edge to climb. Aspire's hands are full of high-powered oh. and electromagnets. Clench your fists to grab anything metal and climb out of this area. When you're at the top, push the edge down to your waist and the unit will vault up. So we're actually going to be going over here. Didn't even think about just climbing up. Huh. Well, he did. Not quite maybe the direction we were hoping. Oh, I see. I see. It so automatically sort of brings you up to the correct level. No bells and whistles on this one. Why can't I see my controller? Weird. Can you see my controller? Is that just me? I can't. Where's my monitor? You can. Oh, you can't. That's just me. Okay. Should be something in my office. Head there. Ah, the old stomping ground. I can't believe they left it all like this. So obviously something happened. This was a project which was closed down and now... Whoever was working for it has obviously decided they're going to uh, carry on doing some stuff regardless. Again, the grab is in a slightly weird location, but I'm sure we'll get used to that as we go. It looks quite nice. It's, some of the textures are a little plain, but and then it's a, it's a table. What do you expect? The actual models seem to be quite nicely detailed. I quite like the, the sort of, I don't know how well you can see the HUD interface that's on screen. Usually the problem is, and I think it got the same thing, because you only see one of the eyes, usually the left one. You should calibrate the Aspire unit. Mm -hmm. Need a repair tool as well. Stand over the holographic feet to start calibration. Do you know, it's not often you hear an Irish voice in games. I like the Irish accent. I'm glad they've got an Irish person there. It's not often you get one. Okay, agents, to carry equipment, mm -hmm. we need to calibrate a few things. Yeah, sure thing. Up, your utility belt. Yep. Pull both triggers in thin air to show the utility belt. Release the triggers oh. to confirm the positions. Where do I want... I guess there? Make it huge, make it tiny. Next, we'll position your chest holsters. Place your hands on your chest as indicated and squeeze the triggers. Release the triggers to confirm the positions. I mean, that's where... Calibration issue detected. What? Invalid location. Calibration issue detected. How does it feel? Okay. Everything match up? It's pretty much on my nipples, <clears throat> if you're wondering. Now aim your hand at the repair tool and press grab. To holster any weapons or items, simply drop them near your chest. Okay, you're ready. Head out into the hall. So it sort of hovers a little bit further outside than I'd expect, but it's there nonetheless. That'll do. Where are we going in here? Whoa, Hello. Mary says the unit's chassis has been impaired. <clears throat> Find a quiet spot and fix the damage with your repair tool. Is this not a quiet spot? Pull the trigger over the damage orbs. Oh. Oh, I see. It's quite an interesting way of doing it. Hello! I guess we're meant to be sneaking past this. Um, does it turn all the way? Not quite. Oh, I can just climb it. Oh, don't climb it! <laughs> let's just, I was gonna say let's run past, but let's not. Oh, in here. Okay. Okay. It's been a while. There should be a pneumatic pistol on the desk upstairs. Okie dokie. What's this? Nice bluey. Oh. Partner in crime. Number one rello. Not got your man on your desk? Parents or nothing? Number one rello. No distractions, please. So obviously we're going to break our way into there in a moment. Right after we grab this uh, Objective complete. pistol. Objective complete. only. Should be almost completely silent. Try firing around. I don't... Do I want to? I'm going to fire around at the lock as well. Oh, I can't. Why can't I move? Oh. <laughs> That's quite cool. Okay. I did that. We got a... You'll need to reload it. Swipe the weapon near the magazine on your waist and Aspire will automatically reload. 
Will it? Oh, I see. You actually got a click. Cool. To holster your weapon, let go of it anywhere near your chest or waist. To get out of here, you'll have to break the lock off that air vent. Why don't you shoot it with the trank pistol? Why don't I shoot it with the trank pistol? You'll have to crouch to get in there. Oh. Just duck into the air vent. Aspire will mimic your body movements. Agent Crouch to get into the vent in my office. <laughs> so, uh, you keep a padlock on your air vent and a trank pistol on your desk. I'm very interested in security, all right? I like that we have to lift the covers up like that. That's quite nice. Here, this is one five Delta. 1043, I think I'll hit the payload. Over. HQ, do you copy? This is 15 Delta. Over. And put that on our chest. I'm assuming we're supposed to do that. No one's actually told me what I'm supposed to be doing. But that seemed like the right thing to do, didn't it? Don't know whether us maybe being seen is going to confuse things. Hopefully not. We'll have a quick look around. Take your repair tool and drop it on the ground. It'll show a path towards the next objective. That's kind of cool as well. So now I'm using these hand cameras that we've got. We can't actually see the guy come in there anyway. I don't know how long they stay asleep. I'm hoping for some time. Or can I not hold another one of those? That may be the case. So if we grab our repair tool, throw it on the floor, bounces back, shows a path. That is quite cool. It's automatically... And we can't take that out, apparently. Yeah, it's automatically loading these. Those two people are still asleep, so they must stay asleep for a little while. Up, stealth, left, hold up. So we can go around him if we wanted, or we can just take him out, right? I'm going to grab the gun just so we get any additional ammo. So where would up take us? Would we just drop? No, we just dropped down right on top of him. Look, okay. Let's move on. Ooh, that's a loading corridor if ever I've seen one. <laughs> no one up here that we can see. Obviously, we don't have clearance level five yet. The amount, the amount of doors we can go through, I'm wondering if maybe this is a game where you return to the areas you've been to once you've got additional clearance. Says this might be the place. If you find the payload, call it in straight away. CO will check in on the quarter hour. HQ, this is 14 Bravo. 1020, securing the fold division. Over. Agent, if you get lost, take your repair tool and drop it on the ground. Not very good at uh towards the next objective. Hitting that guy. Shutter door is locked. To open it, flip the breaker switch. You can see it up near the ceiling on the gantry. There we go. Oh, I can see that guy over there. Where? There he is. Can I get him this time? Who said that? And how did they... Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. So we're heading over here somewhere. It says all units sweep the area. I can't see any other units to sweep. It seems to be automatically reloading now. I don't wonder if that's because I'm automatically... Be careful. The enemy is going to be much more vigilant now. Ah, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe we should have just gone sneaky. I'm just going to run over and collect their guns in case we need their ammo.
Does sound like there's a bit of an alarm going off, doesn't there, in the distance? Probably not for the best. Oh, there's a ladder there. Can we just go up the ladder? Of course we can go up the ladder. Why wouldn't we be able to go up the ladder? You can climb up a wall, you can climb up a ladder. Where did that want us to go? Did it not want us to go up here? I thought it did. Nope. That's just taking us down the ladder again. No, it's taking us to here. As much as I like immersion in VR games, I would much rather I just got knocked down. There's someone here. have a crouch button. Because I do find manual crouching, as in, you know... How can they almost see me when I'm hidden behind this? Your manual crouching to be a little bit, a little bit finickety, shall we say? Oh yes, I just got knocked out cold. Whoever did it, we gotta find. Stay calm. Ah. What's going on? Report. We've lost contact. Ah. Unit. Repeat. Are you there? We've lost contact with the unit. Omega oh. team. Dispatch oh, someone to investigate Stop. and report. There's one more guy left. He's being a little bit troublesome. There's another one down there, look. How did he get down there, I wonder? My gun's getting caught on the edge of the uh, wall there. You walk back over there, mate. No reason why. No reason why whatsoever. Jesus! You've taken damage. Repair tool on your chest. Use it on the nodes. I didn't know there was there was a hole there. I didn't know it was going to fly straight through like that. Caught me right off guard. Oh! Yeah, I thought I was going to jump down onto the floor here. That was the plan. I don't know how many we can carry. Yeah, you've given up. You were still going up. Not anytime soon, they won't. And it seems like they stay asleep permanently. I'm not. I'm not a big fan in stealth games where they're like, "Oh, you can." knock people out with this trank gun and they stay asleep for a good four seconds and then they wake up and you need to do it again. That does annoy me a little bit. I kind of like the way the sides get shaded in when you're in stealth mode. Yes, we are actually just, that's where we fell down, isn't it? So I don't know, don't know why we've come this way, but we have. You can stand up when you're in the vent, and then you just see through the vent and get stuck on the uh, crossbars. Agent, your objectives are twofold. First, unlock the facility so that our troops can get in. Obviously. You guys are prime for the go code. Second, find out who is attacking the facility. We don't have eyes inside the base, so you need to handle anything else that comes up on the fly. Our AI puppet string system, Mary, is translating your actions onto the Aspire unit. Mm -hmm. She'll be giving us live feeds from your unit's sensors. Obviously she will, yep. So I wonder how well this works as an action game. Obviously the action possibility is... That we've been here as well. Yeah, this is the same room. We just keep going around in a circle around this room, don't we? Well, we can't go through there, but yeah, that's that's where we were. Okay, so we're going up here this time. You obviously it gives you the gun to have the option of action. Oh, the the toilet's closed, is it? Can't get in the toilet with my clearance. I have got the worst clearance possible. Do you want to get into rooms full of bad guys with guns? Sure thing. Do you want to go to the toilet? Nope. Not allowed. Finally get the Mary AI system working by remote possession, but while I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. 
Hopefully this is enough to get the project back on track. Agent, keep moving through the facility. Primary goal is still yep. to reach the surface. Open the base up for our troops. E1 prototype. Are they all E1 prototypes? Yeah. Well, there's like a 3D printed version. That's kind of cool. The Aspire chassis acts as a huge aerial that hooks up to a 10G network. Of course. Constant connection to our servers and Mary, the thing wouldn't work. They've lowered yeah, the security. Yeah, 10G. Level. Don't you let them discover you. Probably haven't heard of it. Tenth generation wireless mobile telecommunications technology is still very much a military only thing. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe you shouldn't have, but you did. I can get into there. I can get into this terrifying looking room. Restricted area. <laughs> I can't get into the toilet. Agent, if you get lost, take your repair tool and drop it off. I am not lost. It'll show a path towards the next objective. So things I like then, I really like the climbing. That's a lot of fun. It's good looking, it's not the most amazing looking game, but it looks good. Agent, we've lost contact with this. It looks like a game rather than uh, like a, a tech demo, something that's been just sort of cobbled together, which, you know, some VR games unfortunately do look like. Oh my God. That was not my intention. I wanted just to try to punch my way through that glass. That was the plan, not take my gun out and start shooting. Oh. Ah, why was that smashed? What was taken from there, I wonder? Espire backup unit activation. Two and three. Oh. Then, if we lose this unit, you can possess one of these. How? Great. Ah. These units are now live. If you lose the one you're oh. going to new units. That's kind of cool, you know. I like that. What an interesting way of doing, like... save game and backups and stuff. That's kind of cool. Oh, the doors don't activate when you're in stealth? They do activate when you're in stealth. It just wasn't working. Okay. Welcome behind the scenes, Agent. This is where blood, sweat and tears went into developing the Aspire unit's protective armor. Your current prototype is... I love the cameras on the hands. Huge fan of the cameras on their hands. I think that's a really nice touch for a stealth game. Really nice touch. There's another one just gone down there. That's a terrible shot. My bad. Terrible shot. He's gone up there now. Oh, I was going to say, I assume we have unlimited ammo for our pistol, but it appears we are out of ammo for our pistol. Well, we're out of ammo refills for our pistol, I should say. I'm assuming there is some sort of achievement for completing the game without killing anyone. There often is in these sort of... ...scale model of the Aspire's central battery unit. Lightning in a bottle, oh, basically. Oh, okay. Inside is a matrix of graphene supercapacitors for quick charge, long hold, and rapid discharge. Throughout the chassis is a supporting network of graphene oxide foam, a malleable 3D battery substance. Patent pending. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the skin all around the unit's skeleton and feeds the actuators, magnets, and sensors with quick hit energy when required. We can even charge as Oh, it's like a mirror of that. It's confused. Can we climb any surface? No, it has to be metal. Which seems a little weird, but maybe, you know, there's an obvious explanation now that this works by some form of uh, magnetism. I thought I'd try and give this ago, but none of these walls are magnetized, uh, metal, so you can't climb them. So, 
I assumed that pipe was there for a reason, but... Oh, does it carry along in there? And I just can't see it. It's just hidden. Oh, in fact, I can climb all of this upper wall here. Okay. Ooh, dear. So, in fact... Oh, in fact, I think it was just that bit I was trying to carry or climb that I couldn't. Well, this is probably an easier way of doing it, because this is what I wanted to get to. I figure it's a stealth game. Yeah, let's try a stealth. <laughs> I thought I sneezed as I stood up then. I don't know how good the enemy is at hearing me, so I don't know whether they just heard me there or if he saw me. That guy didn't hear anything, so it can't be hearing it, despite the fact I sound quite loud. I don't know how good the cameras are, so I suppose they've got a little spotlight there, so that answers that question probably, doesn't it? So from here we could go up there, along there, along there, and then along there to get to that top area, which would avoid all the combat. I wonder if it's possible to do the whole game without, uh... See, who, who actually said that? I think that's a little weird. I guess it's done for difficulty purposes, but... If I knock a guy out and there's no camera and nobody that can see him there, how do they know that's happened? Where am I supposed to be going? That acts as a distraction tool. That's really interesting. That's really interesting. I was wondering if I'd be able to just run across it or if I'd have to stick to the sides, but it's fine. Awesome. Right. How are we, uh, how are we doing here? Can't tell if that says 28 or 20. We're definitely carrying a little bit though. Oh my word, hello! <laughs> Only three rounds left. Still no uh, refills available, it would seem. So I do really love how that went into immediate slow I guess that's one of our, uh, yeah, we've lost a lot of our charge there. I guess that's what did it. Oh, sideways. So I don't think anyone actually is advancing and eliminating. Yeah, they just kind of run around the areas. So I will say the AI is typical stealth game dumb. That's how I think I would uh, go ahead and describe this. The AI is typical stealth game dumb. Is that a bad thing? I mean, it's typical for a reason. It's the same that everyone else does. Or largely everyone else. That's a little bit, uh, a little bit mean, perhaps. Could be better. But it gives you a set set number of rules to work with, which can't always be a bad thing. So we only have... Control, it just came to... Enemy nearby. Screw you! Take you! Everyone on me! So I just hit his gun? I must have done, that's crazy. That guy's just going to sit over there doing nothing, so that's fine. So, we are now out of any form of, form of stealth round. So I wonder if I could have just... You can't climb... You, know, you can't climb those, but I could have just done that, couldn't I? That would have worked, okay. Good to know, moving forward. We're still going the right way? Nope. <laughs> it told me to go up there, though, didn't it? And we actually have to go around this. We might 
need to shoot this guy. I don't know if we can punch people in the head to knock them out. I tried and I panicked, quite simply. We may have, uh, may have done it. May have been able to knock him out, but yeah, I, I panicked and shot him anyway, so who knows? So does he have a different symbol? No, he doesn't. This isn't lo lo loaded with trank darts, is it? That doesn't seem unlikely. Remember this place, Agent? Your first rodeo. This is where the magic happened. There's a Beta Aspire model behind the security glass. It's beefier than your current Alpha unit, but... Oh, it's locked up tight. Yeah, it is. Agent, to access the beta unit, you'll need to get upstairs to the power platform and run a power cycle. It's up above you. Get up there and I'll walk you through the process. <gasps> Did you see how close that was? Ah, little, little, little traps to uh, catch you out. But of course, what we can do is we can just climb up there, can't we? Who saw me? Was it just the gun? Nope. Mary says the unit's chassis has been impaired. Find a quiet spot and fix the damage with your repair tool. Did not see him there. It's not working because I don't have enough charge. You're not working because... There are people around. Oh, there we go. Don't know why it wasn't working, but it is now. So we are heading this way. He's still a little bit perturbed. It looks like it's going slightly more orange rather than red, so we might be okay. Where does that go? Down there. Why would you want to go down there? You've evaded capture. Lie low, they'll be on the lookout. Don't know what that does. Doesn't work, though. There's the first breaker. Now get to the other three and flip them too. Where are the other three? Oh, somewhere else. In oh, they're all the way around it, I see. I'm just going to run around this side, I think, for ease. Does that mean we walked past one then? Did it take us right past one? It did, didn't it? And then the last one we can see is... Ah, oh, I see. Makes a lot of noise when they weren't attached, doesn't it? I wonder if us ziplining down there would take it out, or if it sees us, do we go into slow motion? Ooh. We almost fell. That makes four. Now head over to the master panel and flip the mains breaker. Head over to the master panel and flip the mains breaker, she says. Is that the one? Yes, yeah, the one just over there, okay. Just a whole bunch of people have come in, look. The path to the Aspire control deck is now open. Head back downstairs and get in there. Drop the repair tool on the floor to see your waypoint. Well, I see where it wants us to go. That kind of worked out really well, because they just all ran around that corner. That worked out basically perfectly, didn't it? This is it. Aspire control. Why is that ladder going up there? 
Use the repair tool on the control panel in the center of the deck. Great. The unit is now online. Yep. Open the Aspire console to possess the new unit. How do I do that? How do I do that? Give me a clue. I, I mean... Uh, uh, You'll need to open up the Aspire console. There's a floating button on your wrist, like a wristwatch. That's the menu button. Give it a long... Okay. Oh. Aspire console oh. Right. Wouldn't have expected that. Click on the possess button. This is the possession interface. Oh. To a unit, you'll see this. Interesting. Here, select an Aspire beta unit. I don't know which one that is. So we are currently this one. I guess this one. Select an active Aspire beta unit to possess it. It's got to be that one, right? There we go. And well, there's us. Cool. All right. Congratulations. Perfect. Perfect. I think we had to kill one person, but that's not bad in the grand scheme of things, is it? So I reckon that's going to be where we're going to leave that then. It seems like a suitable place to stop. So that is our quick look. Do not kill anyone. We Did we get that? I definitely shot some. Maybe the punch knocked him out far. I wondered why he had the same Z, which seemed like he was asleep. I guess the punch knocked him out and the shot didn't actually kill him. Okay, nice. Nice. So tools. We've got all sorts of performance stuff there. We killed no guards, so we got... Oh, you get money for killing guards, though. That's interesting. You get a lot more money for killing them. What's money used for is the question, I guess. Really interesting. Or is this what it's cost us? I think this is what it's cost us then, isn't it? And there's a bunch of achievements we didn't get there. Your total expenditure was 73,000. Ah, okay. So you don't want to kill people then. <laughs> Cool, awesome stuff. Well, I really enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed that. It was largely what I was expecting, but I had fairly high hopes, I guess, because of the uh, the buzz that's been surrounding that. That seemed a lot of fun at first glance. If you'd like to see me do some more of that, do let me know. Do like the video, all those usual things. If you enjoyed the video, do like it regardless. That is hugely appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them, although I am a little bit behind, so it might take me a couple of weeks to get there, but I will get there. Don't worry. Don't forget I stream on Wednesdays and it'd be wonderful to see you there. Do you know, I like the way these bend as well for some reason. Reason. That kind of bit of a lag on the bend. It's uh, it's nice. Makes it feel a little bit more, I don't know, less static, I suppose, but that's obvious, but it's nice. Yeah, if I don't see you in a stream, I will see you next time, and maybe in a bit more Aspire if you guys would like to see that. As I said, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in some other magical VR adventure, and as always, thank you very much for joining me.